I recently did a video about all the different math that we've tried in our homeschool, and although it is way more than I wanted to try, <laughs> we are trying to find the best fit for us. And we think we have found a really good fit for my oldest daughter, and that is BJU Press. We have been using it since January, so it's about two months now, and it's been a really good fit for her and I together. Um, I thought I would spend this video sharing how we use it um, in our homeschool day. Um, you know, there's something really unique about it. It's different than other maths that I've seen. Um, a lot, just to give you kind of like a little bit of a background, I really wanted something that was going to provide some type of spiral review, um, but not too much. And I wanted something that was going to provide support for me so that I wasn't having to constantly come up with different things. Um, so far, BJU has been checking both of those boxes. And so I think what I'm going to do is kind of give you an idea of what we have and how we're using it. And, and then I'll tell you a little bit more about what they offer because we are definitely not using it to the extent that they provide. So um, I purchased um, just the work text and the activities book. And um, I actually, we have a homeschool store here um, right outside of town and they have used books. So whenever I'm trying to kind of play with curriculum a little bit, I try to find a used book. So I got this workbook for 10 bucks, which I thought was a seal and I almost didn't get it because I thought, well, there's one in here, but I'm so glad I did and I will explain why. Because I was trying to save money and we're in the middle of the year and I didn't even really know if this is going to be a good fit, I did not purchase the teacher guide that's like 100 bucks, And um, I to save that money, I thought, I can do this math. Um, I will just use it how I think I want to use it and we'll go from there. I did do some studying online to kind of see how they set it up to see if it would be helpful. Um, and that led me to say, okay, let's, let's look into this. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you inside each book and how we use each one. So let me start with the work text. Okay, so the work text is colorful. Um, that is one difference that it has from the activity book. And each chapter starts with some sort of STEAM activity um, where they kind of have a little description for you and then um, some questions for you to answer. So. Um, I like that this is real life application, uh, but to be completely honest, I tend to skip these just because I would rather just go to the next lesson. But <laughs> um, I, I do think that it's good that they're there. Um, as I get through them, I'll probably decide if I want to do them or not, um, or if we have an extra day where we wanted to look at one, we could. But those are there. Um, and then each chapter is organized um, by its topic. So here we're in the place value and you can see that uh, here's the title and then it's going to give you instructions and then it's also going to have a backside. So each lesson is a front and a back. And so as I kind of flip through this, you can see this first chapter. Now, as you get to some of the other chapters, you'll notice that they might have something up here where they give some instruction or direction of what you're going to be doing. So this is how I sit down with my daughter and teach a lesson. So we can use this up here to kind of um, look at what they're trying to teach. And then her and I will go through and we will do all of these together. So I might show her how to do one and then she can do one on her own and I can watch. And same thing as we go to each section. Normally, we just do the front because the back side is just more practice. And so most of the time we're not doing it unless I feel like, oh, here's something we didn't do. Let's do one of these. Um, or if there's a word problem, I might do that with her. So we only work through this as much as is necessary for her to understand what is being taught. And then that is our math lesson. I'm just going to keep flipping through so you can kind of see some pages in here. But um, we one other thing that's really nice is in the back, there is a section kind of like a reference. See, here's what I mean. A lot of times they have something up here to help teach with the lesson. And so that's kind of what's been guiding me without the teacher guide. 
Um, but in the back, there is a section for reference and it is here. They call it a handbook and you can see it's gonna have all these things in it and it just has all these little reminders for your students. So if there's something that they forget, they can go back here. And a lot of times I can remind my daughter, um, you know, if we cover something and I know what's back here, I can say, if you forget when you're doing your assignment, you can go back and look at these pages. So just giving you an opportunity to kind of see some of the vocabulary um, and the references that they have here in the back. So this can be super helpful. So that is the work text. So the way that we use the work text, now that you've kind of seen what it looks like, um, my daughter and I kind of have a check-in time in during the day. So um, it's kind of like right before lunch and her and I meet together, we go over our language arts, but then we also look at math. And so the first thing we do is check her math assignment and I'll get to that in a second. Um, but then we look at the work text. And so I will sit there with her and we will go through it and I will work through the problems with her. And there, I've never felt like I needed more problems. Um, this, some lessons take us five minutes. Um, some lessons take us a little bit longer, maybe like 15 minutes. So we're spending between five and 15 minutes on math together, um, which has been nice. Now, normally, um, I always thought you teach the lesson and then you do the assignment but that's where we stop. So that's where her math ends for the day. I teach her the lesson and then we are finished. The next morning, she will pick up the activity book. And so now I'm gonna show you what the activity book looks inside. It almost looks exactly like the work text from the front, but here it says activities. So let's take a look at this one. Okay, so let me show you inside this activity book. It is not in color. Um, it is just black and white, and it is going to have the lesson page on the front, and then the back side is review. So this is the beginning of the book, so you, you can't really see all the review, but like if we skip forward here, here's the lesson two and three digit edition, and then on the back side, you're going to have some place value review here too, and even some down here. And we can keep going. Um, Here's adding and subtracting mixed numbers was the lesson. And then the back side was review with estimating, adding and subtracting, some place value and some division. Okay, so the review is always kind of sporadic, um, but it is there. Now I wanna show you an example. I'm trying not to bump my table so my camera doesn't wiggle around. Um, so this is the lesson that we just most recently did. So her and I worked on this together. It's adding and subtracting unlike fractions. And I knew exactly how to teach it because of what was here. Um, I'm sure if I had the teacher guide, I would have more guidance and I'll go into that in a minute. But then we worked on it together and completed this. And we didn't even have to go to the back side. So you can see this part is blank. I always just use this as a if needed. So then her assignment the next morning is going to be this one. And so you can see it's the same concept here, adding and subtracting unlike fractions. And I usually will have her do this whole front side. And then on the back, I will go and I will pick a few for her to do. So here's an example, like I just kind of pick maybe three or four of each one, or if I think she needs more, I will give her more. So we don't always do all of the review unless I think it's necessary. So the lessons on the front and the reviews on the back. So this has been working really well for us. As I mentioned before, we do the work text together and then our math time is done. Um, the next morning after she is done getting ready and doing her chores or whatever she needs to do in the morning, the assignment from the activity book is part of her independent work. So she should be able to just get started um, without me having to kind of do some type of lesson with her. Um, that has been extremely helpful to break it up like that because now that we're getting into a harder math, there are things that I actually need to be teaching her. You know, like she's never added and subtracted unlike fractions before. 
And so I need to sit down with her. And for the longest time, she's just been doing her math independently. And if she doesn't understand it, she'll ask questions. But now I really need to take the time to spend a few minutes with her. So this has been really nice. And I also like it because it's, um, she tends to have like a spongy brain um, where like you can tell her something and, and she remembers it. Um, I, I think it's one of the reasons she's like good at spelling because she can see it and she can remember it. Um, and she, the same thing with math, I can just tell her how it's done and she says, okay, but I like having this gap because I think it's challenging her in a different way. She's really having to soak in the information, sit on it for 12 hours, and then the next day she has to go and do it on her own independently. And so it really allows me to see if she remembers the process. So I have really, really liked that. I also mentioned looking over the work that she's done. So I have a certain time of day where I sit down and grade her independent work. And that's when I look at that and I will just circle any problems that she has wrong. So when we do meet at that check-in time, I will say, okay, let's look at this one together. Or if she gets them all right, I'll say, you did it, good job, and we'll move on. Um, so that only takes a minute or two for us to look at. Um, so this has been really, really nice. Um, I love having all of the practice problems together with her because a lot of times you get math, a lot of math books that we've tried before, you have like an example problem and then it's just that one example that shows you how to do it and then you have the rest of your work and that's it. Um, I really have enjoyed being able to do so many with her and not have to come up with them on my own. Um, and also because it's a work text, I feel really good about just like doing it as we need and then we do the assignment. So that's been super helpful. Um, the other thing I really love about this text is it's organized by chapter. So you have a chapter on place value, then you have a chapter on addition, and then you have a chapter on fractions. Um, and so it's very organized in that way. Some of the other maps that we've tried in the past, like Christian Light and Horizons, they are spiral review, but I feel like their delivery method is a lot more all over the place. You know, you don't just have like a division chapter. <laughs> um, you know, it's just like little bits of chunks of information all throughout that you're constantly reviewing over and over. So um, it feels almost like mastery, but then they have that spiral review in the activity book. So I love that as well. So now I kind of want to tell you about some other things that they have that I have not used and what I'm thinking about getting for the future. So um, they do have a teacher guide and I have looked at it um, online. You can really only see one lesson, but it is scripted. So there they do give you kind of like an object lesson where you can, you know, work the problem out with them and there's a script and um, to follow through with that. So. Um, I do like that that will have that. Um, I don't know if I'll always use the script, but I, I enjoy that. Um, I also like that there's answers, so I don't have to do the work myself. So if we're going to continue this for fifth grade, and I do plan to purchase the teacher guide. Um, unfortunately, I don't think the answers for the activity book are in the teacher guide. So that would have to be a separate purchase. So you purchase the activity book and then the answers for that. And then you purchase the textbook and then the teacher guide. And just saying it out loud, I just kind of want to roll my eyes and be like, oh, ouch. <laughs> so I realize it's a lot, but in the end, I feel very supported in knowing that it's working well for us. So I think that'll be okay. They also offer like a manipulatives packet where you can get like money and fraction circles and um, all kinds of little manipulatives that are like perforated so you can rip them out and use them. Um, I think I'll pass on that. And they also have tests and um, another thing that you can purchase are like the keys for those tests. I think I'm going to pass on the tests. I just have learned... Um, over the years that I just don't think that testing is necessary. Um, there are chapter reviews in the work text, and let me see if I can find one while I'm sitting here chit-chatting with you. But there are chapter reviews in here, and there's chapter reviews in the activity book, so like double the chapter review. So I personally feel like that is plenty. If, if she can do that, then why do I need to test her on it? I mean, it's just 
I'll, you know what, I'll scratch out this review and I'll write the word test. Would that make people feel better? <laughs> but it's the same thing. Like you're just seeing if they remember what you've learned. So um, what we would probably do is, is, you can see this is the review section. I know this is backwards, I'm sorry. But there is review and it's double-sided. Um, so it has it on the back side too. But then in the um, activity book, there is also that review page. Um, and this is going to take me a second to find. Okay, so this was that same chapter nine review. It's front and back. And then if you look again, sorry for the backwardsness, but it's just easier for me this way. There's also a cumulative review um, for each chapter. So then you can test again on like everything that you've done. So we have not used that one, but that is there. So I personally just don't think it's necessary if I'm going to review it with her in the work text and then there's an opportunity for her to do it on her own in the activity book. I don't need to give her a test, in my opinion. Um, so um, that's what's great about homeschool is we can make it work for us. So I don't have plans to do the test. Next year, my hope is to get um, the work text in the activity books. Um, unfortunately, I'm going to have to get an answer key for the activity book because I think that's just going to be easier for me. And then also the teacher guide. So that's my plan. Um, this has been a really awesome fit. I, it's been working really well. I love separating it. I love teaching the lesson and then stepping away um, and seeing what she can do the next morning. Um, it's also been working better, just balancing our own time. So um, this has been really helpful. Um, I hope this was helpful for you to kind of see what BJU Press is like. Um, th this is not really like a full look through because I don't have all the pieces and I'm just trying to make it work for us. Um, but maybe just kind of having a peek at that can let you see what it's about and um, if it might be a good for you or maybe a bad fit. You never know. So anyway, if you have questions, leave them in the comments. Um, and then I'll touch back with y'all soon.